Hello guys! Welcome to my channel. This is Teacher SP. Kapag bago lang po kayo sa aking channel, mag-subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa lahat ng mga videos tutorial ko. So, uh, this afternoon, I will be teaching you on how to solve for the percentage, the base, and the rate. So, I have here on the board, the percentage P is equal to B times R where B is equal to the base, R is equal to the rate. While rate is equal to percentage divided by base, and base is equal to percentage divided by rate. So first of all, I have given you two problems, example of two, how to find the percentage. Paano niyo po ba mahahanap ang percentage? So, I have here on the board, what is 25% of 2,500? First of all, we are going to identify the given. So we know that this 25% is equal to our rate. So 25%, in order to change it to decimal, you have to move two places to the left. So since this is a decimal point, one, two, that is equal to 0.25. And this 2,500 is your base. So your base is 2,500 pesos. So using this formula, percentage is equal to base times rate. So that is equal to the base is 2,500 times the rate of 0.25. So, if you are going to solve it in your calculator, 2,500 times 0.25, it will give you the product of uh, 625 pesos. So, therefore, 625 pesos is 25% of 2,500 pesos. So, example number two. What is one half percent of 480? So we know that this is a fraction. If you're going to identify the given, this R is one half percent. At alam po natin na this is a fraction. So you change it to a whole number. So paano po alam natin ang one half is 50, right? So kung paano po natin magagawa yon? One divided by two. So, 1 cannot be divided by 2. So, you have to add 10, right? 0. 10 divided by 2, that is equal to 5. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. So, that is 0.5. So, when you are going to change it to whole number, magiging 1, 2. So, magiging 50% po ito. So, ibig sabihin, 1 half percent is equal to 50%. So, 50% of 480. We know that 50%, hindi pa po natin na-change sa uh, decimal. So, magiging 0.5. Yung parang ganito. So, that is equal to 0.5, okay, or 0.50, pwede rin, times 480. So, if you're going to multiply 0.50 times 480, kalahati ng 480 will give you 240. So, therefore, ang kalahati ng 480 is equal to 240. This is the process on how to solve for the percentage. Okay? So, next example, I will be giving you next example is how are you going to solve for the base? Paano natin masusolve kapag ginahanap natin ang base. So, ngayon, I'm done already with how to solve for the percentage. Ngayon, sa next example, I'm going to give you on how to solve for the base. Okay, how are you going to solve for the base? So, I will give you an example of this.
500 is 80% of what number? Okay, what number? So if you say 500 is 80% of what number? So this 500 is your percentage. And then 80% is your rate. So kapag if you are going to change 80%, it will give you 0.80. So using this formula, B is equal to percentage divided by rate. So that is equal to 500 divided by 0.80. So therefore, if you are going to use your calculator, 500 divided by 0.80 will give you 625. So therefore, if you're going to change, to compare, ano ang mas malaki? 625 or 500? Di ba 625? So, when you are going to compare the definition of percentage and the base, ang base is the whole number. Ang percentage is the part of the whole. So it means to say, mas malaki ang value ng base compared than the percentage. So, this is the process of solving on how to get the base. Paano naman po kung paano natin malalaman on how to solve for the rate? So, example, rate, we know that rate is equal to percentage divided by base. So, ano naman po yung example doon? So, example for the rate, in solving for the rate, so that is equal to what percent of 8,200 is 825 pesos. So, paan ilang percent ang 825 sa 8,200? So, using this formula, the rate, identify po natin ano ang mas malaking number. Di ba base? So, therefore, Itong 8,200 is your base. Ang 825 is your percentage. So, using this formula, rate is equal to percentage divided by base. So, percentage natin is equal to 825 divided by base, which is 8,200. So, using your, uh, your calculator, 825 divided by 8,200 will give you uh, that is equal to 0 0.1006 from your calculator. So, hinahanap po natin ang rate. Kailangan may percent sign. So, from this decimal point, you have to move two places to the right. Okay? So, this is 1 and 2 will give you 10.06 and after that you have to affix the percent sign. So therefore, 10.06 percent pala ang 825 sa 8,200. So these three are the process on how to solve for the percentage, the rate, and the base. Ito po yung nangyayari in real life situation. So, sa buhay natin, ginagamit po natin yun. So, you can do it manually, you can use calculator. So, I hope that you learned something today, guys. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And have a great day, everyone.